ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश वेलकम्स यू लॉन्ग बैक श्री एन कस्तूरी नैरेटेड ए ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपीरियंस ही विटनेस्ड पर्सनली एंड शेयर्ड विथ large number of devotees at madanapalli of chittur district he started describing the episode this way it happened in bombay there was a family uh, who happened to be sai devotees the father and mother are ardent devotees they had only son who is not a devotee but spent all the time in the company of friends which is not appreciated by parents the parents are all the while worried why this boy is growing up like that why he is not in sai way it so happened it seems a film actress by name sharmila tagore happened to visit that area where this family was residing this boy got excited and uh, he really wanted to see her along with friends and he started making preparation well in advance well dressed yes as combed his hair a first class matching suit and then and he applied spray also finally when he wanted to join his friends to see this film actress at the dining table he saw a book opening on its own that book was lying on the dining table since long but he was not aware of that book and he didn't care to know what that book is but most surprisingly enough he saw the book opening all by itself and at certain stage some letters started growing bigger and bigger and bigger in their size they read this way don't go anywhere stop i'll give you infinite joy i repeat don't go anywhere stop i'll give you infinite joy the boy read that sentence that appeared all of a sudden in the book as he saw in front the letters growing bigger in their size well he, he couldn't do anything suddenly thought that it was time for him to decide not to go he informed his friends that he is not joining them and is not prepared to see that film actress yes days went on like that and that book was nothing other than sachin sevam sundaram written by kasturi ji himself the mother kept that book on that dressing table because she wanted the boy to read one day or other she wanted the boy to become a sai devotee but this boy didn't care all these days but this incident when he saw personally all by himself the letters growing in their size instructing him strictly not to go anywhere well that opened up his eyes and then started a new way of life 
after a couple of months it was a time when summer courses were organized in Uti Tamil Nadu Nilgiri Hills where classes were going on and Swami was moving along the lines rows of students and suddenly he told some group of students there in the front you see there at the back one student is just writing something he doesn't seem to uh, listen to any of the lectures here that boy went on writing all these days what do you think it could be then swami said to those boys what the, what that boy was doing was nothing but likhita japa swami's name written repeatedly om sri sai ram om sri sai ram om sri sai ram like that and then swami said to those boys you know that boy he is from bombay he wanted to see the film star i made him go over here i changed him totally today is a he is a sai devotee that is the power of sai that is the power of sai it's really amazing to come to know what it had happened i can also share with you another uh event in which i participated long back these are all the things which had happened for more for more than 40 to 45 years and i was there in vrindavan on a visit brief visit i was not that close to swami that close i mean physically excepting giving talks on the sara occasions suddenly swami sent a word that anil kumar attend the wedding huh? i was very much surprised taken aback swami wants me to attend the wedding good i attended the wedding swami performed that wedding of the son of venkatagiri raja's family venkatagiri is a place in the nellore district of andhra pradesh this raja prince royal family of vengadigiri happened to be devotees of baba swami performed the marriage of one of the members of the family then we are we were all asked to go to the dining hall for the lunch i went there straight and sat because i never expected that so i would be asked to join them for the lunch i was surprised but overjoyed some somehow i went managed sat there in the dining hall all were seated fully packed suddenly swami came there stood in the midst and looked at the boys who were standing in a line very close to the wall holding different items to be served for the lunch one holding rice another sambar like that each one was ready to serve swami stood in front of me and said look here anil kumar all my boys should learn this important aspect of life service everyone should learn to serve in a swami's institution there is no distinction whatsoever he may be from a royal family for a middle class family whatever it is the student should learn this service which is very important in life i am the, uh, the direct witness to that then i came to know how swami teaches boys and they started serving as per swami's instructions i was very happy about it it not only made me know 
how Swami teaches them this particular aspect of life, service. And also, I have come to learn that Sai students are ideal students. Because I myself was serving as professor in a Christian college at Guntur. I never saw students like that. I was very happy. I also happily recall another incident that had happened. From my native place, Guntur, there was an advocate, a very popular man, and he sent his son to study in Swami's college at Bangalore. The boy is very studious and very, very close to Swami because he looked after all the cows in Gokulam. He used to get up at four o'clock in the morning, take care of those cows. And then after his breakfast, he used to travel all the way to the city to pursue his postgraduate studies, MCOM, Commerce. Swami used to talk to him every day, almost. Suddenly, Swami stopped talking to him and this boy was very much upset. Then he wrote a letter to his father. Dad, what happened? Swami talks to me every day. Why he stopped talking to me? I don't know. Nothing is wrong with me so far as I know. Something you must have done. Father received that letter and he happened to be my close friend. And in introspection, the father could know the reason. Couple of days back, the father went to a club, local club. Played, played cards throughout the night and returned. And Swami doesn't like anyone playing cards like that or any gambling or drinking as you all know. Then he wrote a letter to his son. I'm sorry. Swami did not talk to you because of this mistake I committed here. Now I make a promise that I will not play cards once again. This is the inc- Then the day he received the letter, Swami started talking to that boy. Since then. Therefore, this is how Swami made use of his education institutions to transform children and also the parents of these children. There is a big mission behind it to train the ideal citizens of this country, a disciplined people, devoted citizens of this country, and also reform, transform the parents as well. This I have uh, witnessed, I know personally. And then I would like to share with you another incident. Swami called a boy along, along with his parents for an interview. And before parents, Swami praised, praised this boy to skies. Your son is very intelligent, very studious. He participated in all activities. At the end, he met his vibhuti for all of them. And after the parents left the interview room, Swami closed the door and pulled the boy into the room once again. He spoke to him like this. I told all that very good about you, which is not true. I want you to be like that, not that you are like that. I don't want to belittle you in front of your parents. They have sent you here with all the confidence that you will be an ideal student and then admonished him and made him promise that you will be attending all the activities thereafter. From that very moment, that boy changed. This also I very well remember. Therefore, Swami claims that these boys are his property. And he always says that there are no students of this kind anywhere. Very rare. Because they are talented in every way, academic and extracurricular activities. And in fact, he makes these boys to present a cultural program in front of a vast gathering. There may be a music recital by celebrities. 
Immediately after that, he will make his voice sing few songs. Thereby, the boys will have exposure, and the whole public will come to know that these boys are blessed with histrionic talents by Bhagwan Baba. Sai Ram, meet again later.